Ida Shaima say, welcome everybody to the channel, The Art of Comics. Um, I'm not feeling good. I've been kind of ill for a while, kind of going on and off. And uh, I don't really want to do this, but I'm doing this for y'all because I have dedication. Uh, quickly, before we get into this amazing little like comic zine, Curdles. Um, uh, what's going on? So background is a massive eight by seven foot canvas I'm working on. Uh, we've got a lot of art now. A lot of it is kind of landscape impressionist work as well as abstract expressionist stuff. So um, a lot of different things. Most of it is canvas, oil on canvas, but also like this piece here I just finished, which is a nice uh, illustration board. And this is oil, an illustration board. I like this one a lot, actually. So, um, so these paintings and comics and things like that are all available on my website, andrasalazarart.com. So there you go. So that's my little plug. Uh, the other plug I'm going to make is this weekend is LA Comic Con, and with that... I will be doing a video for you guys Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Basically, I have one objective, and that is to sell. I don't care about making relationships. I'm not caring about nothing else. I'm trying to sell my stuff. So I'm going to try to, like, focus on that. Okay. That said, this I got at Long Beach Comic Con. Did you guys watch the video at Long Beach where I um, did that presentation on art and things like that? Go check it out. It's really cool. Well, there I met, and actually in the video, we talked to this guy. Uh, I think it's Matt. What is it? Matt. Oh, sorry. Not Matt at all. It's uh, Robert Gooden. Robert Gooden, who I'm going to be interviewing hopefully soon uh, for the channel. He is a animator artist. This is published by uh, Fanagraphics, and this is like a magazine, comic magazine. And I just fell in love with it right off the bat. I saw it. I was like, ooh, I got to get this. Really impressed with it. I thought it was just super cool and creative. And actually, this was actually, um, I was one of the judges for the, um, for that, what is that, uh, that award, the um, comics, yearly comics award thing. I don't remember now. Sorry, I'm not feeling good. Anyway. I was aware of this prior to meeting him, but meeting him was nice. He's in the LA area. I love the art. Let's turn the camera over. Let's take a look at this wonderful book. Let's do it. Let's go. You know what? I like this Curdles business. I like anthologies. I like the way you can kind of just experiment with different stories and and, and, and art and things like that. So I think it's cool. I'm down. Let's take a look. Robert Gooden. Okay. Look him up. This is legit. By the way, I'm a I'm a tough critic. I'm 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 tough. I'm a tough dude, man. And I've got to say, this is amazing type stuff to look at. And I'm okay. This has a scent of a woman. Yimmy colored, Hank's hands, all these different activities. This is fun. As a guy who, okay, first off, I do love fumetti. I love mixing mediums and using this fun, like, photography. By the way, this is a nice, this is a nice picture. This is a really nice picture. Great job. And uh, just adding these, it's just fun. I just like this kind of art where we see uh, just different techniques being used. It's cool. I'm down with it. Uh, here is then some work that, um, I don't know if it was colored by his children or made to look like it, but I like the, I really like the idea of it. He's doing the inks, of course, he's lettering it, but then uh, he's either has someone else do it or He's got, I, I, I bet a, a real kid did it, just because I feel like 
um, it's more authentic that way. Super cool though. Just what a neat idea, right? I have not seen that before. And I guess there is a graphic novel, a, re, uh, a Curdle's graphic novel. So, um, you know, there's a word I learned years ago at the comic image called toyetic. Toyetic means something that you can make toys out of, something that's got a, a, a toy-like quality. And these, this is toyetic. I mean, he's in the business. He knows what's up. And this is like, you can see plushies of all these guys and toys and... A lot of times it's those kind of products, merchandise, is really where the financial gains are. Probably no surprise to some of you, but yeah. You don't make money off books. It's kind of like you don't make money off the movie. You make money off all the tie-ins. You know, Lucas made money off the toys, Hasbro, right? More, way more than he did the movies. And that's that's what it's about it's about selling people things in a way even the entertainment the books comics movies music it's all a product but in a way maybe it's just a product to more products right it's the thing to get us to get because we're really into it we're going to buy that radiohead t-shirt we're going to buy the beatles mug we're going to buy the the toy Harry Potter wand, you know? So then what is the art for? Is the art for ourselves? Is the art for others to enjoy? Or is the art to sell other things? You know, and that's why... Man, I'm getting philosophical in my sickness. The, you know, companies use artists to promote their work. I mean, you know, from Kanye's... Yeezys to Basquiat skateboards, right? It's like that art, that's design and stuff is what sells our product. It's kind of devious when you think about it. Art's supposed to be free and, and beautiful and edifying, but it's now been twisted into a way to make money. <coughs> and not for the artist. That'd be very different. If the artist is making money for himself because he's doing good. No, the artist is making art for a company to make money. No, they pay them handsomely, but anyway, enough of that discussion. But yeah, please, in the comments, tell me what you think. Tell me. Tell me what you think. I love this. I hope you're enjoying the art. Uh, it's just fun. It's cool. It's a cool, cool story. It's a great picture. Oh, this is a nice, I remember this one. I saw the original of this, a nice big page. I like these big double page splash, you know, with the little, little action uh, panels at the bottom. This was kind of a popular, you know, page design layout by someone like George Perez in the comic, uh, well, most notably in the comic Crisis on Infinite Earths. But even uh, before that, he did stuff like this with Teen Titans and Wonder Woman. Uh, man, I just realized that I'm getting older. I've, I've learned a lot of crap about this. <laughs> the fact that I can remember that's like, really? Um, so this is, that's a, kind of a big story. That was like a big chunk. And I guess this is all going to be collected in its own, its own story, this little this chunk here. And then there's some other little short stories here that I like. This is kind of fun. Colonels from the past. Kind of an old kind of a League of Extraordinary Gentlemen kind of ad. It's a cute little page. I like this a lot. I love, love the colors. I just love it. I just think it's so fun. I remember this was one of the ones that I reviewed. Uh, yeah, really dig the colors on this. Just smart choices. The cream, cream background. This kind of a greenish ochre, uh, and then the, the hot kind of um, blue, this blue, this like um, 
this beautiful blue and then yeah it's just really cool some cool Photoshop stuff. Oh, and then I like this too. This is like a, you know, Jughead. This is Archie, Archie style, like the art changes. And I just dig it. I dig like what he's going for, the different art styles, the different kind of homages to the past, you know, but telling kind of modern stories with a little bit of humor and cheek in there. So very cool, man. I like this kind of stuff a lot. Re uh, Return of the Bed Bugs. Here's another one. Cool. So, there you go. I find this super interesting. It's not superheroes. It's not Marvel and DC. It's not Image Comics or whatever. But it's, well, it's fan of graphics. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's fun. It's just like a, a man's look at things. It's got a lot of creative power and professionalism in it, and I dig it. So, I will definitely get more of these. Uh, as they become available. So that's my little review for you guys. I will see you soon. Now remember a couple things. Go to my website, check out my stuff. Even if you don't buy it, I think it's nice to kind of take a look at it. Like and subscribe to this video. Comment below if you have anything to say. And fourth, be ready for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I'll be doing some videos, touring the Comic Con, and sharing with you my thoughts as a statesman of the industry. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a statesman. Okay, bye guys.